A brace for Harry Kane at Goodison Park now fears that he could miss the Carabao Cup final next weekend against Manchester City. Spurs remain 7th in the Premier League, 5 points from the top 4. Everton 2, Tottenham Hotspur 2. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. So last night's Premier League clash, Everton 2, Tottenham Hotspur 2, Harry Kane with a brace. And then right at the end of the game, Harry Kane limping off. Let's hope that he is OK for next week's cup final against Manchester City. Anyway, in today's video, I'll be going through all of the match facts and stats, all of today's newspapers and looking at the player ratings as well. Just before I get into today's video, make sure that you download the OneFootball app for all of the live football scores, results and news, as well as getting all of the latest Spurs news on this channel. You can also see it all here. Download the OneFootball app to keep up to date with everything Tottenham Hotspur. Club news, transfer news, match information, videos, tables and results from all around the world. Don't miss out and please do let me know what you think of this app. Let's start with the lineup. Now, Hugo Lloris in goal, and then a back five of Serge Aurier at right back, Sergio Reglon at left back, Toby Alderweireld, Joe Roden, and Eric Dyer in the middle, and then the midfield of Pierre Mihoibier, Moussa Zoko, and Tonkion Dombele, and up front, Harry Kane and Hun Min Son. Substitutes used in the game in the 64th minute. Jose Mourinho made a double substitution. Lucas Moura and Eric Lamella coming on for Sergio Reglon and Tonkion Dombele, and Deli Ali coming on in the 93rd minute for the injured Harry Kane. Harry Kane, of course, put Tottenham 1-0 up in the 27th minute. Four minutes later, Gilfie Sigurdsson scored from the penalty spot, making it 1-1. And then in the 62nd minute, Gilfie Sigurdsson got his second of the game. And then six minutes later, in the 68th minute, Harry Kane equalised for Spurs. The match stats, Tottenham had 47% possession to Everton's at 53. Tottenham had 12 shots to Everton's 18. We had three shots on target to Everton's 7. We had three corners to Everton's 6 and fouls 8 apiece. This fixture, Everton v Spurs, always seems to produce goals because the past five meetings between Everton and Spurs at Goodison Park in all competitions have produced 26 goals, 10 for Everton and 16 for Spurs, an average of 5.2 per game. No Premier League side has dropped more points from winning positions this season than Tottenham Hotspur with 20. Only Alan Shearer, 7, and Sergio Aguero, 6, have scored 20-plus goals in more different Premier League seasons than Tottenham's Harry Kane with 5 now, level with Arsenal's Thierry Omri. Harry Kane seems to deliver week in, week out for Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. Last night was no different. Another brace from him. Two excellent finishes from the England striker. And Harry Kane has now been involved in 62 goals in 62 appearances in all competitions for Tottenham under the management of Jose Mourinho. 45 goals and 17 assists. No Premier League player has more goal involvements in this period since the 23rd of November 2019. Harry Kane was seen limping off right at the end of the game and it is a worry now for us Tottenham fans because of course we do have that cup final next weekend against Manchester City at Wembley Stadium and of course we've got a Premier League game against Southampton this Wednesday coming at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Now Jose Mourinho was asked about how bad Harry Kane's injury is um, and can he give an update and he said that's also a question I want an answer to as soon as possible but it's too early to say. For him to come out, it is not because it's nothing, it's something. We all felt the same fears of something that stopped him playing on Wednesday against Southampton in the Premier League, and especially Sunday at the Carabao Cup final, but we will see. Tottenham teammate Eric Dyer was also talking about Harry Kane's injury and said, obviously, it's always worrying when you see him limping off because he doesn't fall over easily. He takes a lot of knocks. It's early days to say how bad it is, but I'm sure he's a tough boy, so he will do what he can to be ready. Everton boss Carlo Ancelotti was very pleased with his team performance and he said if we made less mistakes in the box, we could have won the game. It was one of our best performances that we have played here at home. We created the opportunities to win the game. Now let's look at the Premier League table. Spurs remain 7th. We have now played 32 matches in this season's Premier League, which means we only have 6 Premier League games left. We have won 14, we have drawn 8 and lost 10. We have a goal difference of plus 17. We have 50 points. We are now 5 points away from the top 4. 
And, uh, you know, th this result was not good for Spurs and it wasn't good for Everton either because, you know, Tottenham needed that win. And we have now played a game more than everyone else in the Premier League, everyone around us. And, uh, you know, can we get that European spot? Um, top four just looks miles and miles away. Um, I think the best to Tottenham can play for now is that Europa League place. Please do put your thoughts in the comments section below. Where realistically do you see Tottenham finishing at the end of this season? I'm now going to go through all of today's newspapers and the player ratings. I'm going to start with the Sun newspaper. Picture of Harry Kane here. And it says, Kane limps off in Spurs' final scare. Harry Kane gave Spurs an injury scare with just eight days until the Carabao Cup final. Kane scored twice against Everton last night, but hobbled off while shaking his head after rolling his right ankle in injury time. Then a double page spread inside in the Sun newspaper. Kane at the double, then ankle trouble, mixed night for Harry. Another shaggy dog story, A eh, Jose? Just 24 hours after admitting he did not know the identity of the Dulux dog, Spurs boss Jose Mourinho let go of another lead. Player ratings here, Hugo Lloris got a 7, Toby Adeveld a 6, Joe Roden a 6, Eric Dyer a 6, Serge Aurier a 6, Pierre-Emile Hoybier and Moussa Zoko both 6s, uh, Sergio Reglon a 6, um, substitute Lucas Moura a 6, Ondombele a 5, Eric Lamella sub a 6, Hunmin Son a 7, star man Harry Kane an 8, uh, and Deli Ali sub a 6. Some more stats here. Um... The passes, Tottenham had 432 to Everton's 489. Touches in the opposition box, Tottenham had 14 to Everton's 25. This next one from the Daily Star, Harry left in a sweat over final. Harry Kane scored both Spurs goals but suffered a late ankle injury to leave him sweating on his place in next Sunday's Carabao Cup final. The England striker fired himself up to 7th in the list of all-time Premier League goalscorers last night. Inside the Daily Star, a double-page spread here, Kane's top draw. You've got to say, without Harry Kane at the moment, I think that Spurs would be really, really struggling. You know, two opportunities uh, given to him uh, by the Everton defence and he buried both of them and uh, tremendously well as well. Um, Harry Kane is top of the table. Sadly for Spurs, the race he is leading is goals from players without a Premier League winner's medal. The Tottenham talisman moved ahead of Robbie Fowler in the league's all-time scorers list after his double here against Everton upped his tally to 164. Nobody has scored more and not got their hands on a trophy. In the Daily Star, Jose Mourinho is quoted in saying, two beautiful goals, but not a surprise. Great finishing from Harry Kane. It was a great reaction from us and the game opened up. Until the end, anything could happen. Uh, player ratings from the Daily Star today. Hugo Lloris, a seven. Dyer a 6, Alderweire a 7, Roden a 6, Aurier a 6, Ondombele a 7, Eric Lamella a 6, Hoybier a 6, Suzoko 6, Regulon 6, Mora 6, Hunmin Son 6, Harry Kane, star man again 8. Referee Mike Oliver, 6 out of 10. This next one is from the Daily Express. All very similar headlines um, in today's newspapers. Kane injury doubt, 4 cup final. A late ankle injury suffered by Harry Kane left Spurs sweating on the fitness of their leading scorer with the Carabao Cup final in just eight days' time. Inside the Daily Express today, Kane close to crunch. Decision on future looms for striker as Tottenham C top four hope fade. This next one is from the Times newspaper. Two goal Kane ends night in pain. The pain and discomfort will be all-consuming for Harry Kane today, not simply by virtue of the ankle injury he suffered in the final moments here, but one that threatens his participation in the Carabao Cup final against Manchester City next weekend. Player ratings today from the Times newspaper. Hugo Lloris a 7, Alderweireld 6, Roden 6, Eric Dyer a 5, Serge Aurier a 6, Pierre-Emile Hoybier a 6, Moussa Sissoko a 6, Sergio Reglon got a 5, come off in the 64th minute for Lucas Moura who got a 6, but Sergio Reglon, when he came off, he didn't look happy with his performance whatsoever. Um, Tonguion Dombele a 6, Eric Lamella sub a 6, Harry Kane an 8, and Hunmin Son a 6. This next one is from the Daily Mail, Kane's Agony. Spurs strikers injury scare week before Wembley final. 
And then inside is bittersweet for cane. Showing Tottenham's form in the Premier League as well. Lost one, drawn, lost, drawn. 50 points, five points from the top four. We've now played 32 matches. Uh, player ratings. Larice six, Dyer six, Alderweireld six, Roden six, Serge Aurier six, Pierre Mihoubier a seven, Suzoko a seven, Regulon a five point five, Lucas Moura a six, Undon Bele a six point five, Eric Lamella a six, Harry Kane star man again um, here eight point five, and Hunmin Son a seven point five. The Daily Mail have actually put this uh, this piece in here saying Kane's ankle injury hell, and you can see here the time that Harry Kane has spent out in previous seasons. And lastly, a report from the Daily Mirror today. Injury takes the gloss off Kane double, but Spurs can't hold on to a lead, and that's vinyl. Of course, all of the jokes about Tottenham signing that deal with Dulux um, you know, in the last couple of days. Harry sweats on final after saving Jose from a coating. Again, another joke about the, the paint deal. Harry Kane's late ankle injury has left Tottenham sweating on the fitness of their leading scorer uh, with Carabao Cup final in only eight days' time. Inside the Daily Mirror, Deadly Harry going places. Brilliant double from the Spurs hitman shows he needs to move on to bigger things. If this was a contest that confirmed Harry Kane's right to be regarded as a true great, it also perhaps proved beyond doubt it is time to leave Spurs. Player ratings, Lurie 7, Dyer 5, Alderweireld 6, Roden 6, uh, Serge Aurier 5, Undombele 6, Pierre Mihoibiera 6, Suzoko 5, Regulon 5, Hunmin Son 6 and Harry Kane a 9. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do put all of your thoughts and comments in the comment section below on everything I've spoken about in today's video. If you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you on the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs.